Hey guys, Rob from KY Constrictors here. Today I got a new video for you. It's how to properly quarantine your new ball python. Plus, I got an unboxing for you. So stay tuned, and I can't wait to show you what I got. So, as you can see, we got a lot to discuss on this table. And first off, I want to talk about stickers. Anybody that does not have a KY Constrictor sticker and you want to swap stickers, hit me up on Instagram at KY Constrictors and Exotics. Here I have my original sticker, and for a limited time, I have this die cut holographic sticker but I do have the circle holographic stickers on order. So there's not many of these left. Uh, I have a few promised out. So if you want one, you better hit me up pretty quick. Anyway, speaking of stickers, I do want to give a couple shout outs to some people. So it's mail time. And the first sticker I want to give a shout out to is Katura Crow from Crow's Critters on Instagram. Crow's Critters. So, there's that one. Funny enough, is uh, also got a sticker from her husband the same exact day in a different envelope. I do like how they separate themselves. He pretty much runs the animals he does art so I'm guessing that he probably designed both of these stickers his name is Brant Crow B-R-A-N-D-T Crow and uh, his he's an artist and the name of his company is Art of the Crow awesome stickers go check them out on Instagram all right then the next one is from Grab your balls on Instagram. Nice sticker. Thanks for the swap. Appreciate it very much. And then last but not least is I want to say it's Haley's or Hiley's Pythons. And they are found on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. They give me an original sticker. And then the, I think it's the inevitable famous holographic sticker. Everybody's going holographic, guys. Don't be slacking, like Billy Rose says. Got, got these uh, newcomers making me look like I'm a slacker. Not really. Anyway, I think it's hot in here. Whew. My wife, she uh, she likes the heat. She doesn't like the air conditioner. She doesn't like freezing. But let me clean, get this cleaned up here. And we'll get on with what my video is going to be about. Alright, so today I'm going to be talking you through how to set up a single tub for a ball python. I suggest this setup right here this this setup right here it's, it's cheap mainly it's cheap and uh, more importantly it works so what I have here 
is just a regular 32 quart Ziploc uh, tub from Walmart. I have uh, air holes vented on top and small, smaller ones on the side. Most important thing about this tub is it has the locking latches. Those latches are locked. Ain't no snake getting out of there. The basic components that you need in the tub is number one is you need a heat mat. The heat mat needs to cover at least a third of the tub. They need to be able to have a hot side and they need to have a cold side. Second of all is you need substrate. With, I mean substrate, you can use cocoa chip, you can use aspen, you can use paper. And in this instance, I will be using paper. And the reason being is because I'm actually going to quarantine a snake in this setup. I did, I did a whole video on how to quarantine a, a ball python. Uh, if you want, you can go check that video out. But this right here is ideal for quarantining. You don't want to bring in a new snake into your room without quarantine in it for at least I suggest 30 days but some people go 60 some people go 90 some people quarantine a week if they trust the uh, source so anyway you want to use paper if you're quarantining especially because then that's going to let you monitor you know mites for one it's going to let you monitor you know, urates, bowel movements. Uh, this is key, guys. If you're running a heat mat, you cannot just plug this in and it'd be good to go. You got to have a thermostat. Here I have a Herpstat 4. I'm gonna be running this off of the Herpstat. I have four different plugs for a uh, I guess you call it a uh, temp probes but I'm only going to be needing one with the power cord only thing you got to do is get your thermostat out and you're going to plug up your thermostat to the electrical outlet and then you take the heat mat and you plug it in to the back end of the thermostat your probe goes into the same output as your thermostat and then what I like to do is I like to either run it in between the heat mat and the tub and tape it down or you can simply well that's that's what I suggested is just take and lift lift up the edge of the heat tape right here right here and you're gonna slide that thermostat probe to the middle of that heat mat and then you're gonna tape it down with the Gorilla Tape. If you don't have Gorilla Tape, electrical tape works, but I, I, I recommend Gorilla Tape. All right, so once you have that all set up, you wanna run that for at, at least a few hours. After you're done running that, you wanna check it with your temp row, make sure you're getting the right temps set it to where you're reading or you get temp readings of 90 degrees so that's just a quick rundown of how to set up a single tub for a ball python a couple more things that you're going to need is a water bowl and a couple hides you want to hide on the hot side and you want to hide on the cold side that gives them options without losing security. Uh, that's about it. I mean, you want it basic, you want it to be, you want it to work, and you want your animal to be comfortable. That's where you're gonna have the most success. But uh, enough with about all that. Let's get on with what's in this box. All right guys, so what we got here is a snake I picked up from a guy out of Florida. And 
I found him on Morph Market. I looked up this particular snake and found it. And we could, when I saw her, I couldn't, I could not get her. I had to get her. But anyway, I got it from a guy named Jonathan Sked at Olympian Exotics. There's his information. You can find him on Facebook. You can find him on Morph Market, Olympian Exotics. All right. What we have here, guys, is a ball python. <laughs> heat pack is still warm. He uses the 72 hour heat packs, which if you're shipping out a snake right now, I would highly suggest that because they tell you when you fill out your order to ship the snake that due to COVID-19 that ship your reptiles and Reptiles Express and Reptiles to you, they're not guaranteeing uh, lag orders. What I mean by lag orders is live arrival guarantee. Meaning they're not charging you insurance for it because they're not guaranteeing that there is a high chance that your shipment could be held overnight. So even though Ship Your Reptiles and other shipping uh, companies aren't guaranteeing the live arrival guarantee, it doesn't mean that you can't ship your snake. If you know what you're doing, you pack them right, there's no really no issue. Especially if you put a 72 hour heat pack in because uh, it's fine. It's made to go three days. So anyway, he done an awesome job packing it by the way. There was plenty of bedding. Heat pack, like I said, is still nice and warm. Let's get this girl out of here and I'll show you what we got. Ready, drum roll, please. And what we got is a ball python. No guys, what you're looking at here is three different genes. Two are very, very obvious. You can get her unraveled here. And if you're guessing Mojave, you're correct. If you're guessing special, again, you're correct. So yes, this is a crystal. It is a Lelic uh, combination between Mojave and special. But it also contains a gene that I've been wanting for a long time and is becoming quite popular these days. And that is the nanny gene. So yes, right here you have a female crystal nanny. And what the nanny does, and you can see it in her pattern. Uh, let me get these stickers out of the way here. You can see it in her pattern a little bit. Now it kind of pixelates the alien heads, kind of makes it granite look on the darker snakes. Kind of hard to see the granite pattern of the nanny on a crystal, but you can definitely see how it pixelates the alien heads, makes them, you know, scattered and all dotted and stuff. But right here is a key sign of a nanny. See behind that head, how it has that neck stripe? Just about every nanny will have that, that neck stripe. And a lot of them will actually get a lot of like bubbles in that neck stripe. Not sure the Mojave or Special is playing effects on that or not, but as you can see it, nice pink belly because she's probably getting her going shed. Glad she's not in shed while she shipped. But uh, nonetheless, she's a beautiful animal. And man, do I have some plans for her. Um, definite powerhouse here because everything will be either Mojave or special. And also, you have the chance of making a, a nanny Mojave, a nanny special. If you breed it to another Mojave, you can make another crystal nanny breed it to another special you can make another crystal nanny or you can make 
a blue eyed Lucy nanny would be a pos nanny because you wouldn't be able to tell it with it being a white snake, but still. Beautiful snake and I'm glad to have her. Glad to add her to my collection. Uh, got a real good deal on her, like I said, Olympian Exotics. They had great reviews on Morph Market on Facebook. I can't say anything bad about them. Every time I text him, you know, to check on her, you know, about shipment and all that, he was right there. He texted me right away. So, no complaints. I'm happy with what I got. Uh, got a few more unboxings coming in the next few weeks. So, stay tuned for that. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna put this girl away. She's had a long trip. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know what to do. Just jump on down there and hit that like button. And as long as you hit that like button, you might as well slide right on over. And hit that subscribe button. If you hit that subscribe button, it does you no good unless you hit that little bell right next to it. Make sure you hear that ding. Because that way you know I upload my next videos and future videos. I'm going to do a video this weekend on how to make a snake hook. So I know a lot of people have been asking for that. I'm going to spill the beans. It's not real hard. But I will show you how to make yourself a 50, 40 or $50 snake hook for less than 10 bucks. So make sure you be good or be good at it. Holler at me if you want to stick up.